Editing long podcasts like this or webinars for social is time consuming. Simplified AI Clips uses AI to turn your lengthy videos into short, viral clips. Create shareable content from your recordings in a few minutes. Built for small businesses and marketers looking to save time and boost engagement, visit simplified.com and use Annika30 to save 30% today. Welcome to Your Brand Amplified, the podcast where we interview marketers, publicists, and brands to learn their stories, what makes them tick, and tips and tricks that make a difference. I am so thrilled on this episode of Your Brand Amplified to bring another phenomenal woman to the forefront. I'm your host, Annika Jackson, and today I'm here with Bianca Page. Bianca, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Annika. I am uh, feeling blessed to be here and a part of, in good company. (laughs) Oh, thank you. Well, I have been blessed to see you in action at the phenomenal Brunch a few months ago and to hear a little bit about your story and your journey um, and your beautiful family and everything that you've put into just creating great ways for people to lift up faith and community and to get through things together. So I'd love for you to share your story with our audience because they don't know everything that that I've read or heard from you. (laughs) Well, thank you so much. Um, I had co-founded the Community of Restoration and Enlightenment 2017 with my partner, Kenneth Page. I am Bianca Page. And together we have two beautiful children. They're six and eight. And we both grew up in a very kind of strict religious organization that, you know, taught a wonderful way of worshiping from the inside out. But we also felt that there was room and space for other beliefs and to share and uplift other members of the community, no matter how they identified, whether it was agnostic, um, whether they were a believer, and how they identified as a believer. And instead of being more separate on Sunday, we wanted to find ways to bring the community together to share how we make it through this thing called life as spiritual. (laughs) That's really how it started. And so we just wanted to break away from all that felt just confining and not put our spirituality in a box. And we wanted to raise our little people in the same way. You know, they do have a foundation and I will never take away from my amazing foundation as a spiritual Israelite, but we wanted to make room for other ways of thinking and growing a spirituality. So we started to do workshops in our area and then partnering with, um, People like Tasha Champion, who also happens to be a family to me, but just other people on that same walk, like how can we come together and do great things and help uplift the vibration of those around us? And so we try to meet people where they're at. We try to let them know whatever your story is, you are good enough and right where you are, Um, God, the universe, the most high, whatever you call it. You are enough and 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 you are beautiful and loved and acceptable in the sight of, of God and all. And so that's really what it's about. Yeah. So I'd love for you to talk a little bit about because I think there's I'm I'm in the same vein as you. I've I am a believer in a higher power. I believe in energy, the universe, God, whatever you want to name or call that higher power and that that energy and that life force that exists within all of us as a spark, but coming from, um, the is spiritual Israel church, which you said was probably a little more confining. What brought you to your, on your spiritual journey with your husband to realize there are all these other things out there that all really encompass the good. Cause I know when you, when we look at all the religions that are out there, the organized religions or philosophies, because some people say Buddhism is a philosophy versus a religion. They all have the same same basic tenets of being a good person. Don't lie. Don't steal. Don't cheat. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> and love at the core mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. And anything that draws me towards love, that's what feels good. And so, I just started to feel confined within my own self. And let me back up. Part of what I wrote about in the uh, She Nominal Woman book was the little girl inside of me and the hurt that would would come back up. And I would see myself operating from that. 
And sometimes just going to church on Sunday and doing Bible study, it doesn't speak to like, how do I live this life and how do I make sense of it all? And that's when I started to like uh, join a spiritual book club and another Mm -hmm. kind of more open group where it brought women and men together of different faiths and just really starting to figure out like, how do I get tools to navigate this life, whether it be mental health tools, um, you know, a practicum, because I I always feel better when I'm doing something physical. And so like, for me, working out puts me in a meditative state, but yoga is a different practicum that also has a spiritual background. So there was space for that to come in. And although I'm not a regular practitioner, I started to see how, you know, sound baths and all, you know, crystal work, all these different things felt good to my soul. And it Mm. felt like something that worked for me. And that was outside of the confines of my church. And so although I still am a a lifelong and and very um, active member in my organization, I had to say there is room for more Mm. outside of this. And especially when the hurt and pain of little Bianca comes up, there's room for talking to mental health uh, practitioners. There's room for talking to empowerment coaches, whatever that looks like. Mm -hmm. Ken and I saw a lot of hurt in couples and we, Mm -hmm. that's where our ministry really kind of came together because he had been married before. I had never been married, but we wanted to give back as we lift it. And there weren't a lot of examples of like men and women sharing their journey together. And that's really what it's about. We just want to be transparent, share our journey of how we've overcome things individually, and then how we've been able to function as a couple together with our hurt halves and our healed halves and our still in progress halves. And we have really been able to share and give back with other couples we've been married 10 years and what I'll say is we're like in the middle of seasoned couples and young couples and sure the Mm -hmm. seasoned couples sometimes we help them spice it up and (laughs) and, you know get back to that spark and remember and learn like we're learning and giving too we're learning from one another and for the young couples we're giving them the tools and helping with the blind spots and what I mean is young in their relational years not in age Mm -hmm. so to speak and seasoned in their relationship years not in age because it can look like anything right yeah yeah I was just watching a a short documentary yesterday called safe conversations about groups of people in the Dallas Texas area uh, many in the spiritual community who are creating I think kind of similar to you they're creating spaces where couples can come together and have and learn how to communicate more effectively. Because as you said, that's at the core of the whole family is if you don't, if, if you're thinking one thing, your partner's thinking another, you don't, you, you start that tension builds up. You don't have that safe space. And I feel like the tools that you're bringing and the tools that safe conversation is bringing, isn't just for the family, right? It's, I mean, it's for the couple, the marriage, the relationship, it's for uh, the kids, it's for the rest of the extended family, but also helps build up skills when you're talking to people professionally or as friends or in other areas. I totally agree. Thank you for sharing. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, I'm going to, I'll send you the link after it's like, oh, you need to connect with these people. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Because the work that you're doing is, I mean, I've seen it in action, just a small taste um, when you presented to us at the brunch and it definitely moved me. Um, and I think that there's a huge, there's a huge space. People are craving those authentic relationships, especially when we've been separated from each other for so long and divided by politics and other things. So, so, yeah. true. so, so I'd love, true. I'd love to hear some of the ways that you're working with people now, or is it in person, in person and virtual? Cause Right. Well, you know, a lot of our couple work was in person, I would say prior to COVID, and we started moving to that virtual format and found that it could work just as well. Um, Also, because people are so busy, the virtual format for coaching sessions with couples, a lot of times we try to do a minimum of three coaching sessions, and it could be like a cute, like there could be something specific they want to level up on. And it could be just supporting where it's like, okay, every couple of months, we just want to talk to somebody and tweak. 
and um, figure out where we can go to, to a higher level within our relationship and we're there to support as well. And what we found in those couple sessions is that sometimes we need to support the individuals in their journey before we can do the couple work. Mm -hmm. And that lends itself to, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching with myself or my husband. And it may, uh, a lot of times it ends up, I am dealing with the females and he's dealing with the male energy. Um, but more to follow on that because we're also moving into the same okay. sex coaching realm okay. as I get to um, uh, support some loved ones in my life that trust us and want to bring us into their space. And so as we know, spirit has no gender. Mm -hmm. And I believe that what we do can transcend um, gender as well, because it's just really about how you relate to your partner in this journey mm -hmm. together. So that's a new space we're moving yeah. into. Um, and hopefully, you know, as we look ahead to the next year, we'd love to get back to um, an in-person retreat for couples. And that's kind of responding to just the needs of people in our lives saying, oh, we'd really benefit from that because we have some fun stuff we want to do. And maybe that would lend itself to like an online short course too. I mean, that's kind of one to two year goals of just where we're headed because our lives are full too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with, with everything that's in raising children and just trying to do self-care too, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. So yeah, what, because you don't, you do many other things, right? You have other, you're a lawyer. That's yeah. right. I mean, <laughs> yeah. My day job is in law, my husband's in, 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 in the um, loss prevention as well. So we have day jobs, we help support our church community as, and on their minister staff. So there's a lot of things pulling at us. And then we have our own ministry, the core view, which is, you know, where that's like our heart work and, mm, and the yeah. that we do without being paid without being tied to any commitments. It's just like, okay, this feels right. How can we do more of this all the mm -hmm. time? <laughs> so, yeah. which is lends itself to working with professionals like you and, you know, other people who, who help support people with visions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's one of my favorite things is talking to people who have an inspired vision and a passion for what they do. Because that needs to be shared, especially when you're, you're trying to really help people heal and move forward, um, in their lives in a more impactful, grounded way. Yeah. Say. Yeah, absolutely. And it takes different forms. Like we just spoke at black business women rock mm -hmm. and it really just showed up as supporting in the form of song and prayer. We had something prepared to, <laughs> to actually say, but the situation didn't lend itself to that. Mm. And we just did what there was time to do. And that was supporting, um, you know, sometimes it's just, I tell people, if you need a call just to get through that moment, we're here for that too. Um, and sometimes it shows up as just a motivational talk at someone else's conference. So we, we like to remain fluid because spirit is fluid. You mm. know, we don't want to be boxed in, but I would say the main tenets of the core, you are um, spiritual workshops, upliftment, retreats, and then speaking engagements to help on any topic. And of course, the coaching, mm -hmm. one to many or one on one with couples or one on one with individuals. Nice. What continues to inspire and motivate you to, to do all of the work that you're doing? You know, I'd have to say, Annika, you might uh, um, relate to this, my, my babies, my children, <laughs> when I am actually down and they can come and give me a word that mm -hmm. I planted in them, you know, <laughs> or if, if I'm having a tearful moment, I, I really try to be authentic with them so they know it's okay to process whatever you're feeling at any given time. And they'll be like, mom, are those happy tears or, or mm -hmm. sad tears, you know, and we'll work through it. And, and they keep me motivated as well as just all the good things in life. Like I want to hold on to the goodness in life. Um, I'm blessed to live in a multi-generational setting right now. And I get to support my 85 year old grandmother in the same house with wow. my six and eight year old children and just seeing her wisdom, seeing their youth. I feel like I get the best of both worlds. And that's what motivates me. Wow. 
all of that. I know, I don't, I don't know. It was kind of like a mushy, cloudy answer. No, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's I mean, up. <laughs> I, I agree. The biggest thing I can do is the legacy of my daughter, right? Making sure that she becomes a happy, healthy, full being on her own. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I love that. <laughs> happy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ha- happy, healthy, whole, and complete. (laughs) So that's what's motivating me right now. And I know at different times it can change, but I think that's the core of it for me too. Mm -hmm. So you, you mentioned a little bit, you teased a little bit about what's next for you. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you know when some of your new programs are going to roll out or, and do you have other things that you're planning as well? Right now we're what we're in 2022. We're at the end of it almost. I'm looking for us to do an in-person retreat in mm-hmm. the next 12 to 18 months. Mm-hmm. I think in the next six months, because I try to think in like, you know, goal-oriented time frames. Ken and I really want to revamp our online presence and and mm-hmm. and add some levity to spirituality and oh, couples yeah. and the way that uh, <laughs> families relate. And so we have been doing some weekly messages. Um, online and putting them on YouTube and then in our Facebook community snips on Instagram. But we wanted to reformat that because we're finding that people's attention spans are just shorter and shorter. And we're like, what can we give them in a quick bite? Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to giving people um, bite-sized doses of things they can actually apply because it's like, what good is it if you don't know how to use it? And so I'm really big on what does it look like? Um, so look, I'm looking forward to rebranding and coming back online with some of that stuff because mm. I fight against some of the social media and being <laughs> so active. I'm like, oh, so much to do. But if that's where people are and that's where we need to meet them to give them a little bit of light, then I'm willing to go there because like that's stretching me to get out of my comfort zone to share the gifts that God gave me. So that's mm. that's what's next. Um revamping to give some of our messaging in small bite-sized bits that maybe will go across the different generations and then the retreat in the next 12 to 18 months. Wonderful. Bianca, do you have um, any stories you want to share of somebody who maybe you don't have to name names or you can, um, but somebody who came to work with you and saw a big aha moment or saw a big change in how they were able to communicate? What I, you know, what I love, thank you for asking me that. What I love is that usually when we sit down and start our work with couples, Mm -hmm. the man's energy is really, that male (laughs) energy is really resistant, right? And what we find for all the, the men that are in your audience or women that have men in their life that are their partners, once they have a space where they feel like someone's really listening, and I think a man woman component helps them open up too, because we are kind of representing both, and it may show up in either one of them because we all have male and female energy within us. But they end up being the most talkative, and we have to like shut them <laughs> down. But then it's like once you open them up, there's all this stuff that they've been bottling up and want to say, wow. and just to see a couple together have an aha moment. There was a couple we were supporting and they were stuck on how they wanted to do something in their wedding. And it was almost going to be like a, you know, like a stalemate situation that was going to sour the day. And we were able to get to the, well, why do you want to do this? Why is that important to you? And then giving the other person a moment to like, just really hear them. Okay. And why are you feeling uncomfortable with them doing this on their wedding day? Mm. So letting them really hear one another. And then we were able to support them in coming to a compromise where everyone still got to get to the, the nut of what they wanted. Like the groom got to have his moment that didn't feel, you know, offensive or taken away Mm -hmm. from the bride. And so it's really those on the spot issues that sometimes there's a lot behind that, that argument in the moment. Like they say, if you're arguing over the person um, squeezing the toothpaste from the middle or leaving the toilet seat up, it's probably a whole bunch more <laughs> right, right. before you got to that moment, right? And, um, and just like not letting this be the straw that broke the camel's back or 
this is not gonna, we're not gonna let this be the thing that tears this beautiful situation apart. And so mm. I love those aha moments and giving them the tools because when you're working through something in the moment, you're actually giving them a tool of like the next time it mm. looks like this, mm -hmm. this is what you would do if we weren't here. You try to really stop and listen to one another and find out what's behind this. Like, why is this important to you? And when you really care about somebody, you don't want to just shut them down and not let them have a voice and take away from mm. something that's important to them. You want to figure out, like, how can this feel good to both of us? So I honor what you want or and then still feel good, too. Right. So that's where mm. I, I, you know, that that was the most recent example that comes to mind. Yeah, but that's that's a that's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> and like you said, learning tools that you can use every time. Right. So and that you can make sure, yeah, that the you touched on it, effective communication. And that's really where we're getting at because a lot of us are modeling what we saw in our home environment or mm -hmm. however we grew up. And we also shut down early on and use words that trigger one another, sometimes mm -hmm. intentionally mm -hmm. trigger one another. And if we learn to, to be as mindful with not hurting someone as we can be sometimes when we, you know, when you want to yep. push a button, yep. you know how to go straight there. <laughs> if everyone so shows some restraint and like, okay, let me not push that button. I just said that to my partner the other day. I said, you know, it's funny. Sometimes we, ca we call each other in relationship journeys on the things that we do wrong in that moment. But there's so many times that we have to reprogram ourselves to say, wow, wow, I know that probably irritated you. Thank you for not giving me a hard time on that. Or ah, I know I, I, I know I left my clothes on the floor again and that bothers you. Thank you for giving me this moment to just, you know, not the, the times that we don't call each other on it. We need to be as um uh, as in, in that process of saying, Hi, thank you for not giving me a hard time as we do when we give people a hard time, if, if yeah. that makes sense, what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. So what is the easiest place for people to follow you? Is it on social media, your website? The, um, yes, both. So we are really, I think we're the most active on Instagram mm -hmm. and and the website is a great way to kind of see the full scope and all of our social media hand handles are the same. So between Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, you can find us at T-H-E-C-O-R-E-O-F-U, at the core of you. And remember, core stands for Community of Restoration and Enlightenment. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to help people just return back to that ultimate core, that, that uh, blank default natural spiritual state that was all in us everything we need is in there sometimes you just need help and support waking it back up and tapping within you know oh yeah <laughs> journey. so yeah it's at the core of you and then our website is the same but just www.thecoreofyou.com wonderful and i'll also have the link in the show notes for anybody to find really easily um if they're not if they're driving or something, they can't write it down. That way they can just go on the website, go to any uh, platform that the show is on and find that information. And I always like to ask people, do you have a favorite quote or verse or mantra that you live by? Yes, I do. It's been one of my things that I've been saying since <laughs> I was like in college was no ceiling. And I think that resonated with me as a woman because they would always talk about this um, glass ceiling, right? Mm -hmm. And so I would all, I just tell myself when I feel doubtful or when I'm about to take a leap or a jump, whatever it is you call it, no ceiling, Bianca. There's mm -hmm. no limit. Like, don't limit nice. yourself. When I start to close up, no ceiling, like open up, you know, open up. So no ceiling, like the ceiling and every <laughs> structure. I just told myself, no, that doesn't exist here. Awesome. I love that. Thank you. Bianca, is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience today? I just thank you for this space. I think whenever we can all come together and just be, um, listen, we're here to support, pray, whatever, really just help people through that journey. And if you or someone 
needs help going, getting to that next level or just wants to have somebody that you vibe with on that same mm -hmm. level. We are your village. I'm your people. <laughs> so let's connect and figure out how we can make beautiful um, waves together, you know, just help serve our community to the next vibration. Yes. I love it. That was such, this is such a great way where audience, we are of course recording this earlier in 2022, then it will be released. Um, and it's a Monday today. And so for me, this is, it feels fantastic to start the week this way with such an inspirational guest and inspirational message and just making, you know, thinking about communication and the way we communicate and the way we lift up each other and how we treat, like you also mentioned self-care, how we treat ourselves and how we treat others. Yeah. So important. Thank you for this platform. Oh, absolutely. And thank you to our audience for coming back for another episode of Your Brand Amplified. I'm Annika Jackson, and I'll be back again very soon. Want more? Check out amplifywithannika.com or follow me on socials at Amplify with Annika. Stop using five apps to manage your marketing. Meet Simplified One. It's an AI-powered all-in-one platform for creators and small businesses to design, make videos, and publish content to all social media platforms. Visit simplified.com and use Annika30 to save 30% today.